Apple seems to be on the verge of redefining the role of the iPad with the introduction of iPadOS 19. For the longest time, the iPad has been perceived as a powerful device with limitations, not because of its hardware, but due to software that couldn't keep up. Despite sporting Apple's cutting-edge M-series chips, high-resolution displays, and premium accessories, the iPad's capabilities were held back by an operating system that often felt more like an overgrown version of iOS than a platform capable of unleashing true computing potential. But now, Apple appears ready to change the narrative. With iPadOS 19, we're not just looking at a refresh with smoother animations or more polished icons. Instead, it marks a fundamental shift in how the iPad is positioned. Apple is now beginning to acknowledge the iPad's potential to function as a standalone, powerful computing device, something closer in spirit to the Mac, but optimized for touch, portability, and stylus use. For years, Apple has been pushing the hardware envelope. From A-series chips to M1, M2, M3, and now the M4, these processors deliver desktop-level performance in a compact tablet form. But while the hardware raced ahead, the software lagged behind. It became clear that many users felt confined by a mobile-first interface on a machine that was capable of so much more. Enter iPadOS 19, designed to bridge that long-standing gap. This isn't a compromise, it's a reimagining. Apple is finally aligning the software with the hardware's capabilities, enabling a more seamless, productive, and professional experience. One of the most transformative elements of this update is the arrival of full-fledged professional applications. We're not talking about lighter, mobile-friendly versions of desktop software. Instead, applications like Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, AutoCAD, Adobe's Creative Suite, and even developer tools like Xcode are coming to the iPad in their complete form. And crucially, they aren't being lazily ported over from macOS, they're being redesigned from the ground up to work natively on iPad with touch controls, pencil precision, and keyboard trackpad workflows. This is monumental for creators, developers, musicians, and engineers who have long wanted to do serious work on an iPad without compromising functionality. What's also receiving a significant overhaul is multitasking. Until now, split view and slide over were helpful, but limited. They lacked the flexibility and fluidity required by users working with several apps simultaneously. With iPadOS 19, Apple is finally implementing a more advanced window management system. Users will be able to open, resize, move, and overlap multiple app windows, mirroring the kind of experience typically found on a desktop operating system. This gives users the freedom to craft a personalized workspace, depending on how they like to work, whether it's stacking documents, pairing reference apps, or switching quickly between creative tools. The home screen experience is also becoming more intelligent. iPadOS 19 introduces a more customizable interface, letting users pin frequently used windows, organize app folders more intuitively, and implement widgets and shortcuts that actually improve productivity. It's less about aesthetics now and more about functionality. Users can build what feels like a true command center, optimized for their unique daily needs. Stage Manager, once a promising feature that didn't quite live up to expectations, is also making a comeback in a much improved form. The updated version is expected to provide a more seamless app grouping experience, smoother transitions, and smarter window management. Apple is reportedly incorporating machine learning to help Stage Manager remember your most used combinations of apps and workflows. So if you typically open Safari and Notes together for research, the iPad can anticipate that behavior and arrange them accordingly. And for those who rely on larger displays or docking setups, iPadOS 19 finally makes external monitor support meaningful. Instead of just mirroring the iPad screen, you'll be able to run completely separate apps on each display. Whether you're dragging files between screens or managing full workflows across dual monitors, the iPad will now support a true multi-display setup. This enhancement could be a game-changer for professionals in editing suites, studios, and remote offices. One of the standout features being introduced is a new desktop mode that activates when a keyboard and trackpad are connected. In this mode, the iPad's interface adopts a more Mac-like layout, including a persistent dock, taskbars, and contextual right-click menus. Cursor behavior is also more precise, allowing for better interaction with files, folders, and apps. But even in this desktop-style environment, the iPad doesn't lose its touch or stylus responsiveness. You can type and click as you would on a laptop, then immediately switch to sketching or swiping with your fingers, without any disruption. The transition between form factors is fluid, 
and that hybrid functionality is at the core of Apple's new vision for the iPad. This shift in capability also changes how the iPad fits into Apple's overall product ecosystem. No longer stuck awkwardly between the iPhone and MacBook, the iPad is carving out its own identity as a powerful, portable, and versatile device. For many users, especially students, creatives, and professionals on the go, the iPad could realistically replace a traditional laptop. Everything from note-taking and research to video editing, coding, music production, and design is now achievable on a single device. The potential ripple effects are significant. Educational institutions may begin to adopt the iPad as their primary computing tool. Creative teams and freelancers might choose the iPad over laptops for field work. Even business professionals could find the new iPad workflow more streamlined and adaptable to modern work environments. Of course, questions remain. How stable will iPadOS 19 be at launch? Will third-party developers embrace the platform and optimize their applications accordingly? Can the battery sustain this elevated performance level throughout a full workday? Those concerns are valid, but if Apple delivers on even a portion of what's expected, the impact will be substantial. At its core, iPadOS 19 is not about making the iPad imitate the Mac. It's about creating a unique hybrid experience that fuses the best aspects of mobile and desktop computing. Apple is empowering users to choose how they want to work, rather than forcing them into a one-size-fits-all mold. The update is expected to coincide with the release of new iPads powered by the M4 chip, which means the hardware and software will be tightly integrated. Users can expect smoother performance, longer battery life, and a system that's finally built to match the power inside the device. In essence, the iPad is finally stepping into the role it was always meant to play, not just a content consumption device, but a full-fledged creative and productivity powerhouse. From portable sketchpad to high-performance workstation, the iPad is becoming a tool that adapts to your needs, no matter where or how you work. The dawn of the iPad's true potential has arrived, and this time, Apple seems genuinely committed to making it happen.